partners from across a very wide range of organisations, but it's chaired independently of the combined authority, so it's not a decision by us or for us. And the year of the Environment Steering Group has determined that this year of the environment should not be used to promote site-specific or single-issue agendas and should instead have a much broader remit and reach. And further information regarding the year of the environment can be found on the website of Nature Connected. So it is through Nature Connected who actually chair this. On question two, you know this, um, I'm always welcome to meet individuals and the combined authority is actively supporting the year of the environment. So we're, we're more than happy to look um, to agree to meetings held um, um, here or externally because I get out to the six local authority areas um, at least um, once a month um, to, to do visits so I could do it um, outside of, of, of this space but we have had a series of meetings which were for instance held on the 20, 24th of August and the 11th of January um, where we hosted the official launch of Year of the Environment with over 200 people from environmental groups who were representatives right the way across the city region. Um, but I, I genuinely understand that issues of grain space designation and development are, are really important, but they're not within the designation and the decision making of the combined authority. They're decisions for local authorities to take either as landowners or local planning authorities or sometimes uh, as both. Um, so what we will do is follow up that very brief verbal update with a written response as we normally do within 10 working days. Okay, item 13 is uh, petitions and statements. Can I ask you a question from the public gallery please? We don't accept um, questions unless submitted within the timescales and it's all available on the public website so apologies but we, we, we it's not an open question time. Be 30 minutes allocated to this section. Yeah, well, I, if you want me to go on for the extra 24 <laughs> minutes talking about something that I've just identified, then we can we can do that. But it's not the best use of time. What we will do is we will write in detail on the two questions that have been asked. The reason that's 30 minutes is if you get 10, 15, 20 questions, then we use the full 30 minutes. But as there's only two questions on this occasion, that's the time scale um, that we've, we've allocated. Um, and we, we, we can identify it. Thanks very much. Why is um, the council not declared a climate emergency? So it was brought up in the last meeting by the Item 13 is petitions and statements, and we've not received any petitions or statements for this meeting in accordance with the deadlines that are set out I'm in the Constitution the I asked. and set out um, on um, the website, so you can go on there and check. 14 is the minutes of the Transport Committee, which is held on the 7th of March 2019. So can we confirm the minutes of the Transport Committee, which is held on that date, please? It's uh, on pages 165 and 172. Is that agreed? Um, okay, that's the end of the, the, the formal business, but um, you'll know that there are a number of people who um, uh, are either attending their last meeting or uh, due uh, for retirement. So I'd really like to take the opportunity to pass on from everyone here our very best wishes to Councillor Terry O'Neill, who's stood down as the leader of Warrington Borough Council, um, having held the position since Labour took control of the council in May 2011. So on behalf of the combined authority, uh, thanks to Terry for your contribution and your willingness to be part of the broader combined authority family and we wish you well um, for your future. Um, and finally, um, Councillor Phil Davis announced uh, a few months ago now um, that he would be retiring as the leader from Wirral Council uh, and today is his last combined authority meeting and um, I think we all know that Phil was first elected to represent Birkenhead um, and Tramley Ward in 1991 and became leader of Wirral Council in May 2012 and again um, people will be aware that Councillor Davis previously chaired this combined authority, in fact he was one of the signatories
the original agreement um, up till November 2015 and it was through his leadership that we were able to secure such a significant devolution deal for the city region and in fact um, his name is on the devolution deal that's in my office, um, I, very much ingrained in my, uh, my, my consciousness. But, so, uh, but I think um, given that it is such a significant event um, for Phil, that we recognise Councillor Davis's dedication to public service not just as part of the combined authority but for over 30 years and the huge contribution that he's made to improving the lives of the people in Wirral and indeed now of our whole city region and I personally want to thank him <coughs> for the support that you gave to me Phil um, since I was elected as the Metro Mayor and I'm sure that I speak for everybody when I say that we wish Councillor Phil Davis, soon to be Phil Davis, all the very best for the future and we have a small token of our team. No, this is a. It, it's. It is going to be a fully signed shirt. At the moment, it's not fully signed, but the shirt, uh, But apparently, your favourite player is a certain number nine. Uh, was it Dixie Dean or somebody? Uh, <laughs> it is going to be. Well, you have to give me back later because we we get to get it fully signed. Do you, do you want to say? Anything? Yeah. Can I, can I just say? Um, and really just a, a massive thank you to you um, all, to Steve, the other leaders, all the officers uh, of the CA. Um, you know, I've been, as you said, I've been involved from the start. Um, I, I still believe it was the right thing to do to sign the, the, the Devo deal. And it's, it's great to see uh, some of the, the projects coming to fruition that we've been funding. And I think, you know, the future is bright, really, for the city region. And, um, I'll, I'll miss working with uh, all of you guys, and I'd just like to say, you know, a massive thank you for all the support you've given me, and, and very best of luck for the future. Thanks very much. This, uh, of course, is the last meeting of the Combined Authority for this municipal year. Uh, the annual meeting of the Combined Authority will take place on Friday, the 24th of May, 2019, at one o'clock. Uh, can I thank you for the attendance and declare this meeting closed? <laughs>